Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you several extremely rare coins struck by Royal Canadian Mint that command strong premium at auction. Starting with this 1892 Victorian 50 cents, silver coin with weight of 11.6 grams and actual silver weight of 0.34 oz. Although, the production of 1892 was a relatively plentiful for the series, 151,000 coins. It appears that most examples entered circulation directly. The average grade of 39 coins certified at PCGS, presumably the high end of the total population, is only a bit over extremely fine 40. This piece most notable hallmark is George's fully proof-like surfaces on both sides, which has caused some authorities to question if it might be a specimen striking. The mirrored surfaces are a marvelous complement to the near pristine fields the full strike and the prevailing liliac pink patina. Sold on January 3, 2010 for $86,250 at Heritage Auctions. Here is 2003 Elizabeth II Golden Jubilee dollar coin graded as PR67 Deep Cameo by PCGS. Absolutely unique, this stunning commemorative celebrates the 50th anniversary of coronation of Queen Elizabeth II. The verse design renders the monarch's bust simply, hair coiffed but without her crown, while the revival of the earlier Voyager design is centered on the reverse. Both sides of the planchet are deeply infused with honeyed color, the fields filled with endless flash that reflects at every turn, while the raised features are thickly frosted throughout, result in outstanding cameo contrast. Produced with intention of raising money for charity, the Royal Canadian Mint used the dies that were created for 2003 special edition silver dollar to strike just one example in gold, this coin. Sold on August 15, 2019 for $108,000 at Heritage Auctions. Moving on to this 1916C George V's gold sovereign. Among Canadian sovereigns while the specimen only 1908C and regular issue 1913C have smaller mint ages than 1916C the 1960s is assuredly the most valuable, only tiny fraction of 6,111 pieces in stated mintage have ever turned up, and the vast majority must be considered lost. This elegant example has rich original skin on it, with ample patina over warm butter yellow surfaces. The luster is soft but pleasing, and the strike is above average. Sold on January 3, 2010 for $86,250 at Heritage Auctions. Here is 1921 George V's 50 cents. Excessively rare special strike coin, dubbed as the King of Canadian Coins, according to Stax Powers. When the mat for the denomination resurfaced at the turn of 30s, John Honeyford Campbell, the mint master, decided to melt the population of 1920 and 1921 issues and then the recoins the silver into 1929 issues. Campbell worried that if 1920 and 1921 issues were dispersed in 1929, that the general populace will suspect they were counterfeits due to large quantity and old dates. It's believed that approximately 75 pieces dated 1921 survived the melting pot. Beautiful dusty rose toning embraces the surfaces of this one and designer like displaying brilliant iridescent highlights, an excellent eye appeal, sold for $84,000 in 1921 at Stax Powers. And for the last is extremely rare Canadian coin, one of the known and the only in private hands, 1911 George V silver dollar specimen pattern. This 1911 silver dollar is considered a pattern since it was proposed coin with no business strikes ever having been produced. In fact, the two known pattern dollars as well as the lead striking were struck in London before the dies were sent to Canada. Stunning qualities abound on this rare specimen. The deeply saturated planchet hosts a mixture of cool blues and fiery auburn tones, while the strike is impeccable across even the most intricate details of King's effigy and the reverse rees. Sold on August 15, 2019 for $552,000 at Heritage Auctions.